Sunday morning was simply chaotic as visitors flocked ahead home out of Austin Bergstrom International. Long lines persisted during the peak morning hours. What we saw yesterday morning was a really high volume of scheduled flights, a high volume of passengers, a lot more than usual. More than 28,000 passengers flew out of ABIA. The airport says anything above 26,000 on a day is a lot. The chaos just shows how popular the airport is becoming. More flights are constantly being added and fuel is in high demand. In fact, Monday, fuel supply came into question. The fueling operator issued a jet fuel shortage alert, um, and that means that the supply of jet fuel dipped below two days worth of supply. The industry average for reserves is five to seven days. Luckily, no flights were affected this time. Haynes says fuel supply issues have caused flights to redirect elsewhere to fill up before. As of now, Austin only has a storage facility equipped with two tanks. And that's the original facility that was constructed when the airport opened in 1999. So it's just a, a, a case of the airport in this region really kind of outgrowing that infrastructure. To address the growing pains, the city picked a new spot on airport property on the northbound side of Highway 183 for a new jet fuel storage facility. But people who live close by are not for it. My community is opposed to the current proposed location of the jet fuel site, um, you know, with it being about 500 feet from the nearest resident, it is just too close for comfort. The airport sits in Councilmember Fuentes' district. She feels that the city uses this location, concerns for working class people in that area of town would be overlooked. We have a history of environmental injustices. We can't go too far back without recognizing that we had the fuel farm on the east side um, that took years to uh, to uncover and to address and to stop. Airport officials say the spot was carefully chosen and considered land development code compatibility, operational requirements, as well as environmental safety.